Welcome to the Tradies in Business podcast with your hosts, Warwick Bidwell and Nicole Cox. Divert your phone and grab a brew as Waz and Nick unpack tips, tales, secrets and stuff-ups from guests both inside and outside your trade, helping educate and inspire you to break the cycle of gut-busting and money stress and create a true trade business. Well, good morning and happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers and to you too, Mummy Podcaster. (laughs) Thank you, Warwick. I'm sticking with the the moniker from Friday uh, of you being Mummy Podcaster. Mm. Yeah, well, well, see, you only get one day a year. Come on. We're not going to stretch this mother thing out for too long. Well, we've stretched it for Friday, Saturday, Sunday now, three (laughs) days. It's my (laughs) Mummy Podcasting weekend. Yeah. Uh, how, how's your morning panning out? I mean, look, let's be honest, Coxie, so far your mother's day is epic because, uh, you're talking to me. You've, you're the jewel on the crown. (laughs) I tell you what, if I'm the jewel in your crown on mother's day, your mother's day is pretty shit. (laughs) Everybody's still asleep. (laughs) Oh dear. Which is just the way I like it. I must admit. You are an early riser, Coxie. That's not my thing. Oh no, early riser. Food in bed. Um, No, it was on. It was on the questionnaire for me when I found my my wife and decided to marry her. Was thoughts on food in bed, and she was a big fat hell no. You have a questionnaire uh, like, for your wife? <laughs> Jeez, that was a slow pickup, Coxie. No, I was giving you space to dig your hole a little bit. We actually did do that. Did um, you? There's a there's a horrendous rabbit hole to go down. Oh. We answered a bunch of questions with each other. Did you? Mm. Anyway, back to your Mother's Day. Mm. Okay. No breakfast in bed for me. I'm up on my own. I'm on to coffee number two. I'm incredibly happy right at this minute. That may change when children surface, but for now... <laughs> It doesn't that defeat the whole like wonderful skipping through the tulips idea of Mother's Day oh, with God, your kids? Come on. And your I hated family Mother's and... Day until my kids were teenagers. No, really, I hated it. Why? Yep, it's just another because you've got to double think for everybody so that you can clue them up to all the things that you might need being done. And uh, invariably, the kids will have a tantrum or get the willies because they're not being the center of your attention. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I didn't like it. But once they were teenagers, and by teenagers I probably mean 16 and over. Yeah, they, really and um, truly teenagers. Yeah. Like little people. Now actual different. actual humans. Yeah, almost adults. When, when does the actual human adult phase kick in? 24. Is it like 20? Tw- <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say 25. So yep. I know at 24 I was probably not quite there yet. Well, Actually, I don't think I'm there yet at all now. No, you're not. You're not. <laughs> I you didn't even draw breath then, Coxie. He was like, no, you're not. Was? <laughs> was you have not proceeded past 24. I don't think I've actually proceeded past 19 most days. I would agree. Having 19-year-olds in my house, I would totally agree that you are <laughs> bang on 19. I I did not enjoy my 19th year. Is that why you that continue much. to live it? <laughs> I'm just going back to try and get it right, hey. You're regressing. Uh, anyway, um, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there that happy listen to the show. Hopefully you didn't get Coles flowers with the price sticker still on them or some useless crap from Woolworths or Big W that Husbo what, did at the last we'll minute. I've got this year is school craft because there was no school. Yeah. You know the shit you buy at the school store? <laughs> None of that this year. Uh, uh, yep, and no, you know, dodgy paintings saying we love you. <laughs> Actually, I've got a very funny story about a Mother's Day present. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, many, many years ago, so uh, my youngest is eighteen, and or oh, he's eighteen next week. But when he was in prep, I think it was prep, so a long time ago, he gave me this pot, glazed pot thing that he'd made in, in prep. You know, oh, so you dear. can imagine what it looks like. It's pretty mm-hmm. interesting. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I've used it as a, a makeup brush storage facility for uh, how many years is that? At least 15 years, 14, 15 okay. years. Mm-hmm. I recently turned it over for the first time ever and it doesn't have his name at the bottom of it. It has somebody else's. 
<laughs> oh no, I that's know. terrible. I know. So we have that's now the funniest item in our entire house. I can bring that out when everyone's in a bad mood and just waft it past everyone's face and they laugh. It's hilarious. So I've so, been worshiping somebody else's creation for <laughs> fifteen years. So was his just so shit that he stole someone else's? I or? don't really know what happened. <laughs> I can't remember either. So uh, Tyson, wherever you are, I'm really sorry, mate. I wonder if you've got mine. And <laughs> well, maybe maybe Tyson's mum missed out that year, and she's like, maybe she did. Did, did you make me anything? He's like, well, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know where it is, mum. Sorry about that. It looks great on my vanity. Mrs. Thank you, Mrs. Cox's son has it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he. I wonder if he sold it to your son for like hey, lunch. Well, Swap he's always a hamburger been, or something. Nah, my kids' lunch was never ever once pinched because oh, they ate oh, weird oh, food. Oh, don't challenge Coxie's uh, food provision skills. Mm, no, people didn't <laughs> eat our lunches. It was more like Blake would uh, throw it in the bin and go and pinch somebody else's lunch. What? What did you give your kid for lunch? No, it was Poor just, um, you know, healthy food that didn't come in a packet. Or like carrot sticks and hummus or something. No, not even that. There was a lot of chicken and eggs and, you know, good stuff. Oh, that's okay. Well, like he, meat, meat and eggs and stuff. Yeah, well, exactly. You and I believe it's great, but when you're a kid, it's not so great. It's just embarrassing. What is this crap, Mum? Can, yeah, can no. I have a packet? Can I have oh not gosh. have yogurt in a pouch with six spoons of sugar like every other kid at school? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say what you really think about nutrition, Coxie? Oh, well, you know. So... Uh, I um I guess, you know, just want to say, yeah, happy Mother's Day to all the mums. Thanks to all the wives as well. Even if you don't have kids and you're not a mum, I reckon Mother's Day should be like wife day as well. It should be partner's day. Yeah. Um, is there a – well, we have International Women's Day. We have a lot of things things like that. But, uh, oh, is it International Men's Day too? Is there really? You never yeah. hear about it. It's in, well, I wonder why. Because up to that. the men to do it for themselves. <laughs> I'm allowed to say these things on Mother's Day. Women are better at marketing. I think that's what it comes down to. Wow. How many men's cancers do you hear about? I, I've got to agree with you on that one. No. We probably don't want to talk about no. some of the places we get, get cancer. Hate, but, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, um, let's turn this back around. Let's turn this ship around, Coxie. Happy Keep it Mother's positive. Day. Keep it positive and all flowery and light and shit. Scones and jam and cups of tea and cuddles and fluffy dressing gowns and slippers. Well, tell me about what you used to do for your mother for Mother's Day when you were a kid. Oh, four-fifths of not very much probably. Really? Uh, (laughs) Did you have a special breakfast or a lunch or did you go and see your grandmother or grandmothers? we didn't we didn't do the visiting thing. Um, And we, we lived sort of further away from a lot of family. Um, mm. Most of my family were spread over the the country and uh, neither of my parents really had much of a relationship with their siblings mm-hmm. or their parents. Um, so I don't really remember, to be honest. Dad always always sort of uh, managed to help us get something for mum on Mother's Day. You know, we'd get a chockies or a, some crappy thing from Woolworths that she probably didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> Dad being a tradie and all, you know, usual story. Um, but yeah, we used to do that, and and I think as we got older, you know, we'd we'd do a bit of brekkie, and which in our household was generally cereal. We didn't do the cooked breakfast thing. Not even on a special um, day. No, generally not. Because <gasps> and my mum is so. You've met my mum. I have. M- my mum is so hard to do anything for because she's such a bloody legend. She doesn't sit uh, still for more than two seconds in a row? No. And, like, to get up before my mother <laughs> requires military precision and, you know, uh, Navy SEAL levels of freaking discipline. Well, and then be- she'd know that you'd set your alarm so she'd be up before your alarm anyway. Pretty well. Your mum is all over this stuff. Pretty well. And she'd have everything prepped the night before anyway. Exactly. So it's like you're still she's still got the jump on us. Um but she just never wanted anything. She never mm. ever wanted for anything. She was so self sacrificing. Actually she still is. Mm, um, I know mum does not listen to the podcast and I'm pretty glad of that most days. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) um, But in the event that mum ever does actually listen to an episode and I'm just going to make a public statement, my mum rocks. Um, 
I've come I've come to know my mother much much better in the last few years through some pretty uh, funky family stuff going on and and some stuff with my dad and everything and his ill health and some other things happening there um and i have a new appreciation for my mum and the shit that she's put up with over the years i'm a big fan of your mum she's a ripper yeah and my wife loves my mum too speaking um, of mums your your wife's a very good mum <laughs> yes my wife is a bonus mum hey happy so- mother's day to all the bonus mums out there absolutely the As- step mums that maybe don't have <laughs> Their own progeny, um, but they they take someone else's under their wing, um, and uh, my wife is bloody awesome at that too. So hardest um, job in the world, I think. I'm um, I'm treating my uh, my beautiful wife to a Mother's Day anyway, even though you know by the pure sense of understanding, she's not a mum. Um, she's a fabulous stepmom. So yeah, I think it's a bit it's a bit interesting these days, isn't it, Coxie? They can be very complex. Families can be very complex, can't they? I, um... No. Families. Piece of cake, Coxie. <laughs> <laughs> Straightforward. <laughs> what are you talking about? I have a, a interesting family setup, so it'll just That's... be us. For... <laughs> did you do air quotes when you said interesting? I rolled my eyes. I did air <laughs> quotes. I did the lot. <laughs> I have an interesting family setup. I love listening to stories about your family setup, Coxie, because <laughs> I feel so much family. better about myself. Oh, oh weird moly. Family. Holy moly. How, how do you go as a uh, bonus mum on Mother's Day? Is there any sort of um, – are, are you treated the same as, as a regular mum or no, is it No, it is different and it's complicated and it's not uh, – <laughs> oh, this is a rabbit hole. <laughs> I am um, well appreciated and thought of on the day, and perhaps we should leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I should have done through the week uh, when I successfully managed to um, trample all over a few of my relationships with women. <laughs> so I should have just walked away and Do left you know- it. I could relate it very simply back to one of your relationships. In order for you to be um, honoured as a step parent, it requires other members of the family to honour that relationship themselves, which I think relates very closely to some of your stuff this week. And that doesn't always happen because some of us are prepared to move forward and some of us like to be stuck in our rubbish. Anyway, we're not going there on Mother's Day. (laughs) So happy Mother's Day to all the bonus mums, the step mums, um, the wives, the the uh, traditionally thought of mums. Um, hopefully, there's no crumbs in the bed and crappy Woolworths gifts. Uh, <laughs> and your coffee's warm, not yes. cold. <clears throat> Let's the, not forget the fur mums. What about all the mums of animals? They're important. Uh, I'm glad you clarified that one. Yes, the uh, the animal mums. <laughs> and uh, may all of your offspring and uh, significant others pick up their dirty socks, hang the towel straight on the rail and uh, flush the toilet properly today. And could you just please vacuum up the cat hair? <laughs> don't miss the cat hair. I just still can't see it. I don't know, I don't know where it is. <laughs> just pretend like you know the floor is covered in cat hair and vacuum it anyway. Just vacuum the floor anyway. Just do it. <laughs> Systematically. She will love you forever. And don't scrub it with the vacuum. Make sure you do it in long, um, planned, systematic strokes. It's like sweeping the floor on a job site, really. <laughs> uh, and tell us what you you, uh, you got up to on Mother's Day if you listened to this and if you're listening to this six months later. Um, we're sorry this makes no sense whatsoever. Probably not. And if you're an American <laughs> listener, this you're rolling your head thinking, Mother's Day? Now? Hang on. Whoa. Yeah. Wasn't that yeah, yeah, yeah. another time? It goes time? all out of whack. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and just remember, dads and fathers and husbands, um, there is this day later in the year called Father's Day. Now, if you would like that to be epic, <laughs> today's your chance to bank for the future. <laughs> if you're not really sure about how to do so, go back to yesterday's episode. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to Coxie's tips yesterday. It's not too late. It's, it's not, not too late, men of the world, <laughs> to fix it. All right, well, have a good day, everybody. Whatever you're up to, stay safe, wash your hands, um, socially distance, and all that jazz. Uh, but send your mum ghost hugs if you can't be with her. And um, yeah, it's the thought that counts. So 
at least peel the price tag off the flowers, though. Please, can you? You know, <laughs> really. Happy Mother's Day, mums. We appreciate you. You've been listening to the Tradies in Business podcast with Warwick Bidwell and Nicole Cox. Find out more about today's guest, tools for your trade business and other cool stuff at tradiesinbusiness.com.au.